Rap. Rap. Rap Z with a Z. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Guys, we're here at Tactical Raps. And we got an empty bay over here because, well, Colton is back here getting his wrap out. We're about to start on his vehicle, getting it ready for Ford Takeover. A little bit of a day in the life. And then we'll just keep this video going because we're going to be going this weekend to HPR Automotive, and we're gonna be boosting my Mustang finally. Today is that video to start of the process. Let's go. What you got, what you got, what you got? Those cool ones you always see on like Instagram. What do they call them, hex light? <laughs> They're only <laughs> white. We're gonna try to spice up the shop a little bit here with some more lighting because if you're in a Clarksville, Tennessee area and you want your car detailed, wrapped, or whatever, PPF, all of that, guys, come check out this shop, if you are local or if you're far away, might be worth a trip. But I will link all of the information for this shop down below. So, good friend of mine, Colton, he's uh, selling cars and then starting this business with his family. So, big things to come in the shop. But we're going to start where he's going to start. And I'm going to help the wrap process on his 2022 Mustang GT. And it's going to be something pretty spicy. I need one of those. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? It's a nice sticker, though. It is a nice thing. <laughs> Makes your car faster. No, I do too, actually. A little bit of progress here. Looking good. Pretty easy. Just snaps together. Like, listen, we don't need instructions. We got this. Wiring? Custom wiring? I'm out. See you guys later. <laughs> it's been a couple of weeks since our last video because we've been doing a lot. It's been really busy. Um, We boosted my friend's Mustang. We also lowered it on some BMR suspension and some mix of goodies from Keltrak, like the shocks and stuff like that. Anyway, it's just been really busy. Been back and forth through the dyno with a couple of buddies of mine. Get some power numbers and it gave us a taste of where we're going to be when we supercharge this Mustang, which is this video, guys. It is finally time. Finally. I know you guys have been waiting for it. I've been waiting for it, but this is the weekend. We are going to put this thing under the knife at HPR Automotive and install our ESS supercharger. Before we get into the video, before we discuss a couple of things, you guys asked for it. I delivered, and yes, let's take a look at the car, show you something that you guys really wanted to see, and man, it could not have turned out better. Let's spin the camera. Check this out. You guys wanted to see it on the off Oxford white Mustang and that was grabber blue brakes we went with the g2 caliber paint and my goodness I will not do this job again I'll just spend the money again powder coated it's a lot of work but the end result came out freaking awesome guys let's get up here take a look and they really set off these wheels flawless i really got like behind the calipers and did it right i didn't just paint what you guys can see i actually got uh, like up in there and took the brake pads out and we did it correctly we took our time it took about six hours but the end result is flawless and it looks so good on the white let me know in the comments what do you think about this color on the white i think it is a home run and it really sets off the variant helium wheels here all right shameless plug here so here if you want variant wheels we have a sick discount code for you guys to use. It saves you the most money out there, period dot. Free wheel cleaner, free ceramic coating, free shipping, and a free three-year road hazard warranty. So if you bend it, break it, curb it, something happens to the wheel, they got you covered for three years. And all you got to do is go to variantwheels.com, check out the links down below, and use promo code Xander13 at checkout, and you're going to get all those things. They look amazing. They really have transformed the way this car looks, and I think the brakes look amazing. Guys, let me know in the comments down below, what do you think about the color? But one more time, let's just take a spin real quick. They look so delicious, so delicious. Let's check out the back real quick. Really, really makes these things pop. Love the wheel choice. Love the grabber blue. Think it, I think it looks really hot, guys. Definitely a looker. So something else coming for the front end of this Mustang. Coming here soon. It's at the paint shop right now. So I don't want to ruin the surprise. So just make sure that you are subscribed to this channel because we're going to transform this car even more and make it look the part. But today's video is all about boost. We're getting things ready. We're going to load things up in the car. We're going to head over to HPR and then we're going to get this thing under the knife. We're going to do oil pump gears. We're going to do all of those things. We'll explain back in the garage because we have some weather coming. But for everybody that has missed it, if you have, we've got our new form taillights. This is the smoked version here. They look amazing. And we also have grabber blue, grabber blue 
blue. We also have our Form headlights, and they are amazing. If you did not know, Form is like a sister company to Diode Dynamics, so that means that you're getting good quality stuff. And then also we have discount codes in the video description if you are interested. Anything that you want, we got codes for. Check out the video description. Guys, save some money. BMR, also BMR, we are lowered, and we haven't talked about this much. We're basically riding on a performance front non-magna ride and then we have the drag rear so they have a combination on their website if you want your car to look just like this and sit just as sexy check out bmr suspension also jacking rails uh they've got your lockout kits they've got everything in the world that you could ever need for your s550 and we have discount codes xander7 at checkout save you guys some money but on with the video, let's go. We have been patiently waiting to get a slot available for install. I can do this in my garage because we just did it to my buddy Colton's. Check out his YouTube channel. I'll link it down below as well because we're doing a lot of things together. Uh, Zero to 60 TV, go check them out. But we just did an ESS install in our garage. I did not film it because guys, that's his story. I didn't want to rob him of his content, but it's a really easy kit. But the thing is, I want to make sure Sure that um, we get the oil pump gears installed correctly. I've done it myself a couple of times in the garage, but I haven't I haven't done it in a long time. I haven't done it in a couple of years, so I want to go to HPR and uh, get a little adult supervision. And we'll talk more about this as we go through. But if you need a mechanic, I mean, he's your guy. Period. Dot. If you have to drive from California to Tennessee, it's worth it. These springs ride really good too. We also have some lockouts. Everything BMR is good to go. Everything from BMR is amazing so guys make sure that you use the discount because if this channel is good for anything at all it's for saving you some money so don't miss out on it but all right so basically drag springs kind of it's a bmr performance front so it's going to give us a little bit more weight in the front for added weight of the supercharger turbo whatever it's it's what you would run if you're running like a boost application if you're running like na or whatever then you can do their performance you can do the regular drag springs but we're going to add just a few pounds to the front of this car so we wanted to make sure that we are balanced the back is a bmr drag spring and they have uh them combined as a package and it's really cheap for springs like really really cheap there's companies out there charging arm and leg for springs and i don't get it i just don't understand it bmr they got you covered they're priced right and the performance is amazing and we did not sacrifice handling capability whatsoever because it is a performance front basically about an inch drop almost and it's perfect this car is sitting on 20s from variant and they are amazing all right guys, in the garage, getting a little prep work done because we're not gonna be transporting this huge box that won't fit into my trunk. So we're doing a bit of a layout and I wanna make sure that we're not missing anything. That way we don't waste a three hour trip. Here we have the ESS G3X with the G4 intercooler. This is gonna be something we're gonna be putting to the test with a combination of a bunch of pulleys over there. We have four of them. Only taking one with us for the trip that's all we're going to need, but we have some spice over there. So make sure that you are subscribed to the channel to see what we're doing with this combination that we have over here. You see all the different belts. So we're going to be eventually doing fuel system and all that stuff on this Mustang. And then those are really going to come into play. Plus we have another special 93 pulley. And I know it's 93 pump gas, but guys is something that has not been shown on the internet yet. So, uh, it's a little bit interesting and we're going to, put it to the test i don't want to reveal exactly what it is just yet but just stay tuned spending the money on one of these kits then this is kind of basically what you're going to get here so starting off with the intercooler last time on the mach 1 we had black this time especially with a white car i want to be able to see it so we want raw aluminum and it looks amazing and this thing is huge so the g4 is supposed to be about 30 percent bigger than the g3 this is g3x so we have the billet internals the big difference between the g3 and the g3x is basically the billet internals are going to reinforce the head unit for bigger power so you can make eight nine hundred horsepower easy on the regular g3 it's not going to be a problem but if you want to go a thousand eleven hundred and you want to use this blower then you're definitely going to want the x trim so let's move on to Make sure that we have everything. So we have all of our stuff. I haven't messed with any of this, so it should all still be there. But this is our bracketry, which is really fancy because if you guys can see that, it is already 
set up for 10 reps. So when you go to pick power, you don't have to spend extra money on all these extra pulleys. It's really cool because it's all made of one piece billet and it is black and it looks really good. Starting this car off on 93 pump gas. So we have our booster pump. We have GT500, 2020 plus GT500 injectors. Now, when you go E85, we're going to have to go on to FIC or IDs, something bigger than that. But for 93 up to a 120 millimeter pulley on a Gen 3 Coyote, those injectors are fine. Got our air filter. We have oil the pump we've got some stuff for a boost gauge we're going to set up of course we got our spark plugs and then we have our boundary oil pump gear and crank sprocket absolutely a must in my opinion some people argue not but uh, i think that it's just better to be safer than sorry huge massive shout out to beefcake racing they hooked it up guys beefcake racing i was shopping around everybody was either low or no stock as far as these goes and they had them on hand so when you're shopping around and maybe you can't find what you're looking for guys go hit up beefcake racing they have a ton of stuff on hand and they will hook you up on price guys those guys over there are amazing so big shout out to them go check them out we also have our boundary crank sprocket of course we got piping we've got has intercooler pieces i don't know um those are pulleys we're only going to be taking that one there is a secret one in here i told you so just make sure that you are staying tuned but then we've got some electronics such your math extension uh this is for your blow off valve some of your pcv routing we also have some other suspension components that i've had for a while and if we have time we'll install them if not then another day and then anyway then you have all of your silicone uh hosing here which is really cool for the ess kit because it saves on weight if you were to weigh this entire kit up against the other big name brand century units this one's going to come in a whole lot lighter this flows like 1600 or so cfm something like that so it like outperforms every other century in its class and it's like thousands of dollars less i don't know why anybody at this point would buy any other brand of a century supercharger ess is where it's at guys i think i'm satisfied i think we have everything that we need to load up into the mustang and get on the road head over to our friends at hpr automotive so it's going to be a busy weekend we have a lot to do oil pump gears supercharger install maybe some suspension and uh, oh also there's one other thing this box right here that is another little surprise i'm not going to reveal it just yet it's something stupid but i think it's going to really class up the ngma and anyway if you're interested make sure that you follow on to the next video after this when it comes out and you'll get to see everything installed and we're going to be doing our first drive and all those things and then we're going to start racing guys we got to get axles in this car and eventually we'll do fuel system all of those things to come i want to take this build a little bit slower because i really want to develop this story you know it's it's a brand new car and we want to take care of it but it is time for more power and it's happening this weekend so as you're watching this video guys we're going to have this mustang under the knife supercharging it with ess tuning and hpr and in case you're wondering and you should be as far as tuning goes wingard performance he's the only one out there that i trust with my car he is brilliant so hit up wingard performance we're all using them wingard has got some stuff figured out that you may not want to miss out on so anyway i'm going to pack everything up we're going to quit talking we're going to get on the road and i'll see you guys in the next video for the install and then first start up first drive all those things to come as normal but it is time finally to put the blower on it's been sitting in my garage for like a month and a half or something like that maybe even two months getting ready for for takeover and now we have a slot available anyway i'm gonna leave you to it guys that's the video short and sweet i know but this is just kind of a teaser for what is coming boost is getting installed right now i'll see you guys all later in the next video god bless all of you out there have a great day and i'll see you later in the next video goodbye